Hey guys, welcome again to another video about microbiology and it's about Enterobacteriaceae. From its name, Entero means enteric, Bacteriaceae means bacteria family. So Enterobacteriaceae means the enteric bacteria that live in our intestine. Whatever it was, normal flora or pathogens. General characters of enterobacteriaceae. Enterobacteriaceae is a gram negative bacilli, pink color under microscope. Enterobacteriaceae is a heterogeneous family, as it contains many different genera with different behavior in pathogenicity, motility, and many biochemical tests. Enterobacteriaceae is a very large group in gram negative bacilli as it contains more than 25 genera and 110 species. Enterobacteriaceae is being classified according to lactose fermentation. Motility test and biochemical reactions. When you are talking about enterobacteriaceae classification and identification, you have to mention lactose fermentation. Because lactose fermentation differentiated into two groups, lactose fermenter enterobacteriaceae, which turns to coliforms, and non-lactose fermenter enterobacteriaceae, which majorly are pathogenic bacteria such as Salmonella and Shigella. Lactose fermentation and enterobacteriaceae are different because there are group of genera that ferment lactose very rapidly and others can ferment lactose slowly. Rapid lactose fermenter such as E. coli Calypsiella and Enterobacter and late lactose fermenter Enterobacteriaceae such as Cerachia and Cetrobacter. That's why lactose fermentation is the major principle for all differential culture media in gram negative bacteria and especially in Enterobacteriaceae family such as McConkey Bros. McConkey Bros is differential media for lactose fermenter enterobacteria coliforms that utilize lactose and ferment it to acid, resulting in gas formation and a change in the color of the media. And in McConkey agar, coliforms appear as being colonies due to the ability to ferment lactose into acid. Ethylene methylene blue is another differential culture media that differ coliforms from non-lactose enterobacteriaceae family. In this media, lactose fermenter enterobacteriaceae appear as purple to black colonies with green metallic sheen. Also, endoagar is another differential media for coliforms that allows them to appear pink or rose colonies on endoagar. The second thing that helps us in enterobacteriaceae classification it is the motility test. Many species are motile and others are non-motile. In case of lactose fermenter enterobacteriaceae, coliforms, E. coli is differentiated from Calypsiella species by the motility test, where E. coli is highly motile due to the presence of flagella and fimbriae, while Calypsiella is non motile. In case of non lactose enterobacteriaceae family, 
Salmonella is highly motile due to the presence of Retricus flagella. Flagella are distributed all over the cell, while Shigella is non motile. Biochemical reactions All groups of enterobacteriaceae family, wherever it was lactose fermentor or non lactose fermentor, are oxidase negative. And this test is very important in classification in gram negative bacteria. Since enterobacteriaceae is oxidase negative, and non enterobacteriaceae is oxidase positive. And this also helps me in API technique. In case of oxidase positive gram negative bacteria, we use API 20 non enterobacteriaceae, while oxidase negative gram negative bacteria, we use EBI 20 enterobacteriaceae kit. Also, many other biochemical tests specialize microorganisms from each others, such as hydrogen sulfide, which is very specific for Salmonella, and urease test, which specialize proteus species, and indole test, which specialize E. coli from Klebsiella, and many other biochemical tests that help us in classification. In this scheme, you will find enterobacteriaceae is being classified according to lactose fermentation, motility test, and biochemical reactions. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and see you soon next coming videos and thank you for watching.